Royal Yacht Britannia steams up the Tay, bringing the Queen and the Duke of Edinburgh home from their state visit to Norway. A visit which was a great personal success for the young royal couple who won the hearts of the Norwegian people. The Queen and the Duke come ashore at Dundee. While aboard the Britannia, Royal Marines line the decks. The Lord Provost of Dundee is waiting to greet them. It's good to be home, but there is to be little rest for the Queen and her husband. Not only Dundee, but many other places in Scotland await a royal visit. Before leaving Dundee, they visit Queen's College, where everything welcomes them except the weather, which seems to have forgotten what month it is. But the students remember that Raleigh had an idea in a similar emergency. Professor Dow tells the Queen, a nice gesture by four of your future doctors. Comments the Duke, they're a bit soiled, chaps, but it was your idea. In Midlothian, the royal couple visit Middleton Camp Residential School, which runs two to four week courses in term time and holiday camps after the schools break up. Organized by the Scottish National Camps Association, this 25-acre estate can accommodate 250 children and teachers. A wonderful change for both kiddies and staff. The Duke has another call to pay now, to the 4th, 5th Battalion Queen's Own Cameron Highlanders. So he leaves the school grounds by helicopter, with such a full program an excellent way of getting around. At Hoyk, this distinguished territorial battalion of the Cameron Highlanders are holding their sports meeting. We are hundred pipers an hour and hour. The Duke is their colonel in chief. And after a quick change in the officer's mess, he's ready to join in by starting the tug of war. But much as the Duke might like to stay, there are still more visits on his Scottish program. So it's back to the helicopter. One of the Queen's pleasantest duties is the presentation of new colours to the 603 City of Edinburgh Squadron of the Royal Auxiliary Air Force in the garden of Holyrood House. It was this squadron which, in October 1939, shot down a German aircraft in the first air attack on the British mainland. The squadron fought with honour in many theatres of war. A jewelled brooch in the form of the old squadron crest is presented to Her Majesty as a memento of today's ceremony. This year is the squadron's 30th birthday, and in the Queen's own words, the road which you have travelled to reach this point has indeed been one of valour and distinction. 